Well, Tom, that's right. Uh, representatives with the nonprofit Hale Foundation have been behind the streetcar project all along. And as the uh, as we know, with SORTA's announcement that was made today, Vice President Eric Abner is confident that this project can and will move forward. Abner says today's announcement gives everyone who's been involved in the project the opportunity to come together and get past the Thursday deadline issued by the FTA. Abner told Knight on your side he didn't think the $80 million that the private sector was trying to generate for operating costs would have happened. So forming a relationship with SORTA and the private sector is the way to go. He stresses that SORTA's involvement will make it possible to get the streetcar started back up and put a structure in place that keeps the federal government involved. Metro and sort of they, they know how to put together models for operations for transit. So this is kind of what they do. We have confidence in their ability to run it. So it's kind of an, a, a great match that the city builds the project. They get out. Their responsibility gets removed. We then move on with with Metro and sort of to to run the system, and then we help them um, whether directly or with expertise to find the the rest of the revenues to run it. Now tonight, I also spoke to Mark Miller over the phone. He's the treasurer for Coast, and he still thinks that the streetcar project is a bad idea. He says the city still can't afford this project, even with SORTA's involvement. Amy Wattis, Nine on your side, live from over the Rhine.